This video will show you how to install a conversion kit, which will convert your unit from using one fuel type to another, i.e. changing it from using propane to natural gas, on your 16 Murray tankless water heater. Start by shutting off your water and gas supply to the unit. Remove the unit from the wall and place on your workbench or designated work area. Then, remove your knobs by pulling them straight off. Then you will want to remove your cover screws. There will be one located on each bottom back corner. Next, remove the cover by lifting up. Please note, if you have a digital temperature display, then it will be necessary to disconnect the two clips to fully remove the cover. Here are the two parts that you should have received to perform the conversion of your unit. One part is your gas valve, water valve subassembly, and the second piece is your new burner assembly. Start by disconnecting all connections to the ignition module, i.e., the gas solenoid, micro switch, battery box, ignition ground wire, and lastly, the three black wires that connect your igniters and thermocouple sensor. Next, remove the screws that secure the burner mounting brackets on each side of the burner assembly. Then, remove the two screws that secure the tube from the heat exchanger to the brass water valve assembly and pull the tube free from the water valve. Now, move on to the four screws that secure the water and gas valve subassembly bracket to the back plate. Now you are able to remove the burner assembly and the water valve gas valve subassembly as one piece. Once you have this section removed from the unit, then you can easily remove the two screws that secure the burner assembly to the water valve and gas valve subassembly. Please note that the opening on the port on top of the water valve where the burner assembly connects is larger for the natural gas subassembly and smaller on the propane subassembly. Please note the burner assemblies will have a stamp located on the bottom that identify which fuel type should be used. Here you'll see an LPG and a .69 for liquid propane and an NG and 1.1 for natural gas. This will assist you if you get these parts confused during the process. Please don't lose the small rubber o-ring that supplies the seal between the burner assembly and the water valve assembly seen here. Next, reconnect the burner assembly and the water valve gas valve subassembly 
with the two screws we removed earlier from this position and be sure that these screws are very secure. Now, with the burner assembly and water valve gas valve subassembly connected as one piece, reposition this into the unit. Next, start reconnecting the subassembly mounting bracket to the back panel. Include the ignition module on the left side. Once the subassembly is secured to the back plate, you can reinstall the copper tube from the heat exchanger into the brass water valve assembly and reinsert the two screws that secure the retaining plate on this connection. Next, reconnect the side mounting brackets on the burner assembly and take note that the burner is level once the supports are reconnected. Finally, start reconnecting all the clips and wires from the ignition module, i.e. the gas solenoid, micro switch, ignition ground wire, followed by the wires to the battery compartment. Please take note that the black wire connects to the terminal closest to the back plate and the red wire connects to the terminal closest to the front cover. <music> Lastly, reconnect the three thick black wires and take note of the wire with the blue tape. It needs to be connected to the thermocouple sensor, which is a longer sensor hanging over the surface of the burner while the other two black wires connect to your igniters. Now it is time to replace your cover. Be sure to reconnect the two clips for the digital display if applicable. Next. Reattach your control knobs and then reinsert the two screws that secure the cover to the back panel. At this time you are ready to remount your unit back on the wall. Check for gas leaks. Please spray any gas connection with glass cleaner or soapy water. If you see bubbles, you have a leak and will want to loosen your connection and retighten. Please be sure to use a backup wrench when you are performing this connection. Next, reconnect the water supply lines and you are ready to activate your unit.